Hey guys, it's me. Um, today is Sunday, February 4th, I think. Um, yeah, your girl made a boo-boo. So, I'm starting this vlog off. This is like my second go-round because I accidentally deleted the first half of today's video. That's supposed to go up today. Yeah. Tonta, I know. But, um, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just... I'm not very smart. Just keeping it a buck with y'all. No, uh, I don't. I can't even explain to you guys how, but I was going through like some old things in my camera, and I was deleting some old footage, and I accidentally deleted the first half of this video, which were like the first two clips, and that was like at least 15 to 20 minutes of today's video. So I apologize. Here I am introducing the video. Um, basically, all I was talking about was uh, the stuff that I got from Target and Fenty, which I'm going to show you guys right now. I was also talking about the fact that that Saturday, so this is last week. Does that make sense? So I'm talking about last week for the video that's supposed to go up this week. I hope keep up with me. Follow me. OK, you following you? You following? OK, cool. So um, I was also talking about how me and my son, we went to it, it's not Chuck E. Cheese. It's a different kind of place, but it's similar to that. But like for like kids, baby, they have a baby section and then they have sections for older kids. So we did that today. Uh, not today we did that on Saturday and I was just talking about that and like how it was really cool to be around other parents it was noisy it was crazy okay but it was fun he had a great time he was smiling from ear to ear the whole time at first he was shy and nervous but then he warmed up really quickly and he saw all the other kids and he just was like ready to go so um we had fun there and he was playing with this little boy and they were like throwing the ball back and forth to each other and they kept laughing it was like baby laughs were so freaking cute so it was literally like the cutest thing ever um <laughs> so yeah i was telling you guys about that also baby boy is learning how to stand he is learning how to stand up on his own it's the cutest thing if i can catch it on camera one day i will try to record it but every time i try to record it he like stops so yeah baby boy is learning how to stand i mean he's gonna be 11 months old this month so pretty soon he's gonna be walking which is insane so yeah and then I was just talking about like just the feelings that I was having of being like some you know being a single mom and just how that how that is sometimes and how I feel about that and um just the fact that it was really nice to be around other parents because even though I know other moms that are around my age we don't hang out as often like we talk to each other through text or social media but um I'm just starting to set up play dates with them but we don't you know we don't see each other we don't talk often I'm not close to them so sometimes I I feel alone like I feel like I know I'm not the only single mom in the world I know I'm not the only young single mom in the world but sometimes I feel like I'm alone you know what I'm saying so it was really nice to be like just him to be around other kids me to be around other parents it really just helped me not feel alone in that moment it made me feel like okay duh there's obviously a whole community of parents out there you know I will say I was probably one of the youngest parents in there I definitely looked like I was one of the youngest parents in there but who knows so yeah that's basically all that I was talking about I'm sure I was talking about other things but yeah let me show you guys what I got from Fenty and Target so from Fenty I only got two things I got this uh cream blush this is the fenty beauty cheeks out freestyle cream blush in the shade peach face i was also talking about in the beginning of this video before i deleted it like a freaking idiota i was talking about the fact that i'm very disappointed in miss robin rihanna fenty because miss girl what is this y'all see how small this shit is excuse my language y'all see how small this is mina I know you I know you be so freaking for real Rihanna be for real come on Robin stop playing with me like what like why is it so small this is like a travel sized blush like I ordered this directly off the Fenty website because it was on sale for $16 I think originally these retail for like 20 something dollars I'm really I've been hoodwinked bamboozled okay like I'm really befuddled right now. Like, what the hell is this? Like, are you kidding me? Like, be for real. Like, I would never pay 
I would never pay like the original price for this. And the fact that I even spent $16 on this, this is like a travel sized blush. Like, I'm sorry, I love me some Rihanna and I really do love the Fenty brand, but I ain't gonna hold you, Riri, mi amor. Que es esto? What is this? What is this? That's, that's, that's not gonna be for real. That's not gonna work for me. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty color. Um, I almost got the pink one, but I have a lot of pink blushes. So I decided to get that one because I really like how peach, peachy orange blushes look when I'm more tan. I don't think I'd wear that now just because I'm pale and I feel like it doesn't always look right when I wear like peachy blushes, but pinks right now because I'm pale look the best. So yeah, I also just got another body butter. This is the, um, cinnamon roll kind of scent um this came out two years ago now um i think it came out in 2022 and at first it was just a seasonal thing and then now i don't know if it's still out but at the time that i bought this obviously it was still out and it was on sale for 32 dollars. originally it retails for like 46 dollars. again very expensive 50 almost 50 dollars for a body cream crazy but i love it <laughs> and i last time when it first came out i bought it during black friday like i bought it on sale and i bought it on sale again like i will only buy these when they're on sale or if i have some sort of coupon code because 50 dollars for a body cream is a lot it's a lot so <laughs> so yeah so i just bought myself another one of these i already have like three or four of them but i just bought another one because i did i don't know if they're gonna stop making them and make it seasonal again i don't know they should make it permanent because everybody loves this but I don't know. So from Target, I bought a body oil. It's from the brand Up and Up, which I think is the Target brand. It says light sesame formula body oil compared to Neutrogena body oil. I have started getting into body oils after I bought the, let me show you. It's the ASMR for me. But anyways, after I bought this, um, this is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Formeza oil. I like this and I really like how it smells. Again, it smells just like the perfume the churros is 62 but this retails for 52 dollars that's really really expensive like really expensive for a body oil will i buy it again maybe um that's more like my win fall winter kind of scent so if i'm only buying it once a year i'll spend the money on it but when it runs out am i gonna buy another one until next fall or winter probably not it smells really really good and it layers really nicely with the perfume and i do like it and I like how it leaves my skin feeling, but it's really expensive. So I'm sure you guys can find something cheaper, more affordable. And I'm going to be on the hunt for something that smells similar, that's cheaper and more affordable. So I decided to buy this. This doesn't really smell like anything. It just smells like a body oil. Like it just smells like an oil. It doesn't smell nasty. It just smells like an oil. Like it's just a regular scent. Just regular. Regular Degla Schmegler. But... This comes in a bigger bottle and I think I got this for like $6.99. So I want to see if I can find any other version of the other one. But yeah, I've really been getting into body oils because I have dry skin, especially during the fall winter time, you know, the colder months, my skin is even more dry. So I am just, you know, getting into the body oil thing, you know, I don't know why I haven't used it sooner, but yeah, I'm just getting into that. So what I've already started using this, but I also bought the Dove Pampering um body wash situation this is the shea butter and vanilla one absolutely love this i used to use dove body wash a lot like just the regular one um or the one for sensitive skin i can't remember but i used to use dove a lot as like a preteen, early teenage years i don't know why i stopped um i really don't but i used to use it all the time it used to make my skin feel so soft so good and now they have really nice like scents. The shea butter and vanilla one smells incredible. It just smells really, really nice. It's not like a heavy, heavy scent, but it's set, like you can smell it. You know what I mean? And when I put this on, like before I put my lotions on, when I get out the shower, I can literally smell it on me. Like it just, it's amazing. It smells really, really good. So love this. I was going to get the coconut one, but that one was a little bit heavier for some reason. So I got that one instead and it smells really good. So that's going to be like my fall, winter, fall, winter kind of, you know, body care vibe. But go get you some, go get you some Dove. It's, I think that costs $6.99. So it's pretty affordable. It's at Target. Um, and I definitely want to try the other one. I think they have like a, they have a pink one. What is it? It's like rose or something. That one smells really, really nice. And it'll be really, really pretty for the spring. So I'm definitely going to pop that for springtime. 
And last thing was I got stuff for the baby. So I got some pajamas for him. So these retail for $18 each. It comes with two sets of pajamas. So this one is the Paw Patrol one. Marshall, um, why am I forgetting? Chase, Rubble, you know? So these are in the size 12 months. So it comes with one set and then another set. So like I said, it comes with two sets of pajamas. And here go... Here's the other set. So we got uh, Sky, Chase, Rocky, Marshall, Rubble. They're missing Zuma. I don't know why they left my man Zuma out. But anyways, I thought this was so cute. And my son loves Paw Patrol. So, so freaking cute. Um, and then I also got this Marvel one. Um, and yeah, look how cute. So this is the Spider-Man one. So that's what that is. And then on the back, on the other uh, set, it has like the Marvel superhero like logos and stuff. So like the Hulk, Captain America, all them other folks. So yeah, it comes with two sets, retails for $18. That was pretty much all that I got from Target. And again, I'm so sorry that I deleted some footage. I really was just talking. It wasn't like I had a, a nice montage or anything, but still, I'm kind of mad that I did that. So, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys, I did my lashes yesterday too, but anyways, the next clips you're going to see is going to be flashing back, okay, this is Rashaya in the present, okay, the next <laughs> clips you're going to see is going to be flashing back to last Sunday, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you in the next one, adios, hey guys, we're back today's sunday sorry i didn't come on camera i was supposed to come back on camera yesterday like after i put him to sleep but i just started um editing my video that's supposed to go up today and then um yeah i started editing my video that's supposed to go up today i did it from start to finish i edited the whole thing it didn't take me too long it took me about an hour maybe more um, and I put the music in, I did the voiceover, all of that. And the reason why I waited till he was asleep was because I needed to do the voiceover. And I can't do the voiceover, like, while he's awake and he's growling and making sounds. So, yeah. It's actually 12, like, 30-ish right now. We just woke up from a nap at around, like, 12 minutes to 12. Um, I'm getting ready to fold up our clean laundry. And then I'm going to vacuum these floors, chow. Um... Luckily for me, I don't have much cleaning to do. I really just have to vacuum and, like, sweep them up. Uh, but I am going to do, like, a nice clean next week. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put these clothes away. And, yeah, I'm also going to be cooking dinner a little bit early. I'm doing, I'm literally just making chicken. I don't even know if I'm going to have a certain flavor of chicken or if I'm just going to make regular chicken. But, ooh. but yeah, I'm going to just make some damn chicken and vegetables. Um... And yeah, what else? I have to upload my video that I edited. Um, I actually need one more photo for my thumbnail. So I need to do that. After that, we are going to, we're gonna head out to Target at around like 3, 3.30. I'm gonna see if they have any formula. And I just kinda wanna see like what's there, see if I can get him some more clothes and things like that. I kind of check repeatedly just to see what's new and stuff, but I'm really there just for the formula. But I did want to look at the home section just to kind of get a vibe, like I said. And then I also wanted to look and see if they had a specific planner that I was looking for. Oh, he's learning how to wave. Like he goes like this now. He doesn't really do it necessarily on cue, but he's like learning, like he's he's doing this now. Not even my, I was kind of in my feels last night because I just been thinking a lot about like life and where I'm at and the things that I want and where I want to go and yeah sometimes I feel like I'm so far away from my goals and that they just keep moving farther and farther away from me but I'm doing my best to you know reach these goals and make life better for me and my son also, I started looking up uh, because I do have to start planning for his first birthday. So I started looking up like the stuff that I need to do for his birthday. So I don't know if I told you guys we're not having a birthday party for him 
um, I just can't afford it and it's not something that makes any sense he won't remember it anyways uh, but yeah so we're going to the aquarium the one in Boston mm. sorry my lips were dry as long as the weather here and the weather in Boston permits we're supposed to go up there I'm hoping the weather is okay even if it's rainy I hope it's not too bad because his birthday is like the end of March which is closer to April but y'all know if y'all live in New York and y'all live in the Northeast it be snowing until like May so I'm a little nervous about that but I do have a backup plan so I'm at I can't see exactly what they charge me for but anyways so we are going to be going to the Boston Aquarium. Turn up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> He's smiling. Not the voice crack, but he was smiling. But anyways, right, we're going to the Boston Aquarium. And I went on the website. I went on the website like six months ago, but I went on the website again to kind of see, you know, what the pricing of things are so I can start getting ready to book it. They have this whale watch cruise, but we're not going to be able to do that because they don't start booking that until May because obviously they want to wait for the weather to be warmer. So I'm a little sad that we're going to miss that. But also, if we don't end up getting to go to the aquarium, we're just going to do something local. I'm probably going to take him back to that little jumpy indoor jump park, whatever the hell we was at yesterday. Um, and we spend his birthday there and we go shopping and we just have fun here at home. Um, wow. So, yeah, I'm not really like... I got a backup plan, you know, so I really hope we can go to the aquarium because I'm really looking forward to it. But if we can't, we're just going to celebrate local. And then once it hits like spring, summer, once the weather's warmer, we can go to the aquarium and then maybe we can do that whale watching cruise. Um, so, yeah, but the plan is to go to the aquarium. I was going to stay. So my son's birthday is on a Friday. I was going to stay for... I was going to stay for two days. I was going to stay from Friday to Sunday. Excuse me. But I'm looking up the prices of the hotels because I felt like the reason why I wanted to stay two days was one, I wanted to explore Boston a little bit more. I haven't been to Boston in years, so I kind of wanted us to, you know, have some time and just explore it, whatever. Um, I know it'll probably still be cold out, so there's not going to be too much we could do, but I really just wanted to explore so i was gonna stay out there for an extra day um but i was looking at the prices of some of the hotels and i found some cute fancy little hotels but i'm not spending i'm sorry call me cheap but i'm not spending five hundred dollars plus for two nights in uh, boston it's boston it's not cali it's not florida like i'm i'm not i'm sorry like it's boston like <laughs> like you feel me so i just feel like yeah i'm not doing that so I bumped, I found a hotel that I thought was cute. I bumped it down to one night and it cost like $250, $260 after taxes. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. But before that, when I put two nights, it was saying like $500, almost $600. I was like, I'm not doing that. Like I'm, I'm just, for two days, I'm just not doing that. Especially if the weather isn't all that great. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I might just stay the one day from the Friday to the Saturday and then we could check out of the hotel and then we could still go exploring and then for like a couple hours and then drive our little happy ass back home. So I think that's what I'm gonna do instead, no matter what hotel I book. So yeah, I'm not booking the hotel until like late February, like probably like the last week of February because I just wanna, you know, give it time. Maybe the price will go down. You know, I just kinda wanna give it time. I don't feel like booking it right now. What's the matter? You wanna eat? Hold on, y'all. Let me make him a bottle. I do also need to book his birthday photo shoot, which I cannot believe, y'all. My son is going to be one, and I already have to, like, think about these things. But, yeah. I mean, February starts next week. Like, we're already almost in February. This is crazy. So, I'm going to have to do, um, I'm going to have to do that. I have to book his birthday photo shoot. I still don't know what I want him to wear. Is it snowing? Because first it was raining. Now it looks like it's snowing. It probably is, because I think it's supposed to snow today or tomorrow. But, anyways... Sorry, I keep getting distracted. But we, I don't know what I want him to wear for the photos. I have an idea, but I don't really know. I don't really know because I want it to be like cute. I don't really want it to come off like, like, I don't know if I just want him to wear like denim 
or if I want him to wear something else. Like I really just, I really just don't know. Like I do not want it to come off a certain way. I don't know. I started Pinteresting it and I got ideas, but I still don't know yet. But I have time. I have time to make that decision. So that's why I'm thinking about this stuff now. It is snowing and it's looks like it's snowing even harder than it was two seconds ago. Just wonderful. Anyway, so yeah, I have to plan that. I know I think I'm going to do those like the first or second week of March, probably the first week within that like first week. So that's going to get planned. I'm not booking that either just yet. I'll probably book it like next week or the week after that. Because February is a short month. I mean, we have 29 days this year in February because we got the leap year, but it's still a very short month. Like it's literally like for the most part, give or take, it's like them four weeks and like that's it. It just goes by so fast. So I definitely still need to book it and plan for that as well. Um, and then I need to get him an outfit for that. Also, I have a baby shower that I need to go to in March as well, the week before his birthday. So I got to get an outfit for that um, because I don't have anything to wear for that. I was just going to get like a cute like sweater dress type of vibe um, that matches the theme at the baby shower but I don't have anything so yeah you guys do y'all know like I used to do a lot of clothing hauls on this channel and I have not done a clothing haul in a minute like I have not gone shopping since I was pregnant and when I did go shopping it was either to get stuff to fit me while I was pregnant and for stuff for work I have not gone like clothes shopping like for myself and I think one was because like it costs money duh I gotta pay for it and like I had to focus on my child and what he needed and secondly i don't go nowhere but work so i just on the weekends be in leggings and sweatpants all the time so or in the summertime my biker shorts and a t-shirt so yeah i never really had the time to get back into my wardrobe and also too i have not really lost like any baby weight and it's been like almost a year um so yeah i'm kind of ashamed of how i look if i'm being honest so I don't even want to wear certain things or I just don't have the motivation to go shopping like I used to and wear cute clothes because one, I feel like I don't go nowhere. And two, I'm still kind of, you know, she's still thick. She's still heavy. She's still holding on to the baby weight. So I don't really feel like shopping for clothes to fit me right now. And then I end up do losing the weight and then now I got all these big clothes. Like it's just a whole thing in my mind. So I don't know. But I have a lot of clothes to get rid of, so I'm, I might have to go shop this spring, summer, and really just deal with it, you know? So, yeah, if y'all see me keep looking this way, I'm just kind of looking at how the fact that it's snowing now all of a sudden, and I'm kind of pissed about that because we need to go out soon. It was really interesting yesterday when we went to the little kids' place yesterday to see, just to see other parents. Like, I feel like... Sometimes I feel like I'm in my own little box, like in my own little world. Like I don't really get to see other parents a lot. Um, and there weren't, it didn't seem like there were that many young parents. I think everybody, not that anybody was old, but I think everybody was probably late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Um, so I definitely was one of probably the youngest parents there. <laughs> um, so, um, and there was other people like with their dads and stuff like that. That was cute. So yeah i really enjoyed yesterday like i really had a lot of fun with my kid we was only there for about an hour or so because there's not much he can do as being a baby but once he's walking and he's a little bit more active we're definitely going to go back probably this summer just to get you know get him active and you know go run around tire him out y'all know how i used to go back in the days yep go run around go tire yourself out and yeah just for him to see other kids and have fun he was playing with this one kid and it was so cute. They were like throwing the ball back and forth to each other and they were laughing. It was the cutest freaking thing. So yeah, it was really nice to be around other parents. Um, and I do know a few other girls my age that I either went to school with or I know through like mutual friends. I know people that have had, that have had babies, but I haven't had play dates with them yet. And um, we're not around each other all day, every day. We only see each other like through social media and stuff. So is sometimes I feel like I'm the only parent, let alone the only young parent. I know I'm not the only one in the world, but it kind of feels like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was really nice to even even parents that were older than me. It was really nice to be around 
him being around other kids and me being around other parents because it really made me feel less alone you know yeah you know you know i'm getting that um and i don't want to get too deep in it because i don't want to get emotional either but i definitely want to do a sit down video and i want to talk about like what my experience with motherhood has been like you know because it's been a lot and i am going to be doing like a one year postpartum update i think i did one when he was six months old so i want to do one for when he's one years old um so i will be doing that and yeah but other than that i'm really excited about this year i'm really excited to spend more time with him and we're we gonna be outside wait till this weather get nice we, we finna be outside every day and i'm excited hopefully i can lose this baby weight this year um i'm really working on it and yeah i just want this year to be a good year last year was absolutely terrible like i struggled from january 1st to december 31st of all of last year and i just want to experience joy this year and that's kind of what i've been praying for is is joy <laughs> and peace and that's something that i feel like i haven't had so yeah any ways i'm about to like i said earlier fold up both of our laundry put that away i'm gonna start making dinner a little bit early the vegetables i can pop that like on the stove when i get back i don't have to make that right now i might just to get it over with but i don't have to make that right now um but yeah i'm gonna just make some chicken and veggies and then i'm gonna pack his bag because he's going to his dad's tonight um and i need to pack his bag so we gotta do that <laughs> he's like and then yeah, and then when I come back, I gotta upload my video that's supposed to go up today, and I gotta take another picture for my thumbnail. So, your girl's got a lot of stuff to do. So, I'm gonna see y'all a little bit later. Hey, y'all, I'm back. If I look busted, it's because my eye is irritated. I don't know why. I've been having a lot of issues with this eye lately. It's just been getting really irritated. I don't know if there's a lash in there or something. I really don't know what the hell's going on. But, yeah. Anyways... It's much, much later. It's almost nine o'clock at night. Baby boy is with his dad, so that's why it's so quiet. Um, and I really have been doing nothing since I came home. So I came home about like 5, 15, just ate dinner. I just came out the shower, put on my lotions and body oil and stuff like that. And I've been watching vlogs these past few hours and watching Aaliyah's face right now. So I've been like adding things to my little Amazon cart. I've just been trying to keep myself busy. This is what I do when I don't have a kid with me. Like, I just keep myself busy. I start going through my my stuff. I was going through my, like, nail supplies because I'm trying to think about how I want to do my nails for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I'm just really doing nothing. So, that's why I haven't turned the camera on. So, yeah, but I am getting a little bit tired. So, yeah, I'm just going to come here to end it off end of the vlog but i forgot that i didn't show you guys that i also got this from target this is just like i guess a target brand uh body oil um i just started getting into body oils and let me tell you i really love it especially because i have really dry skin so i feel like it just adds that extra moisture that my skin needs this doesn't really smell like anything it doesn't smell bad it just smells like it says a light sesame formula body oil compared to neutrogena body oil I don't know it doesn't really smell like anything it really just smells like it smells like an oil like i don't really know how to explain it but it doesn't really smell like anything but it doesn't smell bad featured it in my last video which was my um self-care video but i've been using this sol de janeiro bum bum Fermeza oil i got this for myself for christmas this retails for 52 dollars. that's very expensive for a body oil but okay but i bought it and i honestly like it feels nice on the skin and it smells really nice but i'm wondering if i can find something very similar to that but cheaper so i'm definitely going to be looking more into like body oils this does smell really nice and i love it with the perfume but it's expensive so i want to find something that's cheaper i love how that smells with the fenty my body butter the warm vanilla scent so yeah let me know down below like what body oils you guys like i'm really trying to get into it you know it just adds that extra moisture to the skin that i really need so yeah but i think that's pretty much it 
hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know we didn't do too too much but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i will see you guys in el proximo video which will be this next coming weekend i'll be baby free again so we're gonna do a lot more things we're gonna go shopping and we're gonna have a great old time so yeah i will see you guys in the next video besitos a todos adios mi gente I'm gonna